Hey everybody, welcome back. Costa Rica Car Collector here. So I just wanted to share every uh, to everybody the uh, new painting that I got done for one of the members in the community, Adam's Car Collector. He requested a Chipper Jones painting. This was the Topps Gallery. Of course, I've changed it over to the Tom's Gallery. Um, and I want to show you some things that we did finishing this one up. Um, big challenge on this one was to get the lettering done and have that lettering look like gold uh, when it came out. So... Um, had to get the colors right on that one and get the highlights right on that one, which you can see how that, when that pans back there, it gives it that little gold shimmer look. And uh, really spent a lot of extra time on this one, on the face, and wanted to share with you guys some of the tools that I use um, when I'm doing the faces there. So um, this um, iPad that I use has uh, Procreate in it, and um, use this soft airbrush. What, what I get with this soft airbrush is I used to do a lot of airbrushing when I was uh, younger, and that's actually how I... I really opened up into art was uh, uh, with high detail. Um, I like, you know, shadowing and uh, super high detail. So uh, what I did with this one, and you guys know the original card of the artist. The artist did a wonderful job, but I did take the photo and I, I painted it to look like a, a real, real, real person. Um, did, I would say, um, this blender tool that I love using here after I go in with the airbrushing. Um, I use this blender tool here. It's this one up here in the, in the top corner right here. And let me just wipe out an area and show you guys um, how powerful this little tool is here. So over in this area here, let's see if I can get an angle so you guys can see it. And let me strengthen it up a little bit here, make it a little bit stronger. Make sure I am correct. There we go. So you could see here where, where I can start to pull the color from over here where it's darker. Now let me go back. And take that back a couple steps because which is always good with this one is um if you ever paint you can never go and remove um working on a tablet really really helps that so what i do is i'll go in i will take down the strength on that a little bit that's the uh so there's a little area here where you could see i don't know if it picks up on the camera here see this little area right here i'm gonna go and smooth that little area out a little bit more so let me go and open up our our stroke here a little bit and um, get that area to let me make that a little bit bigger. Let me take that back. And I will lightly go and rub over the top of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to bring the color down from the top. And you can see how that effect goes. You see that? And I don't know if I was covering you up there. So what I'll do now... <clears throat> is blend over the top of that see that and that's that's how i've been doing um these paintings to make them look i know like somebody even told me wow it looks like porcelain <laughs> oh, thanks for the compliment there so um i spent a lot of time on this one went over you could see how i did with the beard and stuff like that you got actual brush strokes for the beard spent a lot of time on the highlights on the lips and uh, the jersey the hat um, I really like doing these guys. Anybody has a man cave or wants one for their collection, these print out really nice. They're poster size. I, uh, I've been printing them about two by three. Um, of course, it just cost me a couple bucks here to print them in Costa Rica. I don't know how much it would be to print them locally up there. If you go to a high quality printer, it would cost more, but there are those online uh, websites where you can actually send the file that I send to you, send to them, and they can actually print that on t-shirts for you, cups, many other things too that they actually print on. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the uh, lettering on here came out very good. Um, the Hall of Fame Chipper Jones is finished. It's in the books. And I'm going to go work on a Ken Griffey Jr. right now for another member of the community. Uh, wait, one other thing that I wanted to share with you guys too is there's some really awesome tools here when you're using this thing. And how I get the effect with the background with the... Um, organic one here see these rainforest clouds and there's actually one in here too that actually has clouds um but i really like this one here and that's how i do the um the background with the clouds and stuff like that so what i'll do is i'll hold my finger down and that's my color swatch right there you can see it that'll pick up the color right there that pink color so what i can do is i can start to lay oh that is way too big and too strong let me make those little clouds a little bit smaller 
how I do is that as I go in and lay those clouds in there, guys. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll add a few more clouds into this area so you guys can see how I do that. But I want to take them away because I want that background color to show up in there. So um, that's how I make those those clouds in the background look so uh, real or realistic. And then on top of that, I go back in with the blender and I will go back in and I will blend some of those areas out if there's any area where it's strong or anything like that. So guys, thanks for coming along on this journey. Um, stay tuned for the next one. I've been doing a lot of uh, other videos here on my uh, channel in case somebody new comes along. Um, you can go back and find some other of the paintings that I've done, the Ronald Acuna Jr. and some other Actually, I've done quite a few Ronald Acuna Juniors, but there's a great Mark McGuire and Don Mattingly that I've done recently. So, guys, thanks for stopping by. Costa Rica card collector, as we always say, Pura Vida from Costa Rica. Stay safe. I hope everybody's doing good out there. And take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.